In 2021, IEA's PEARLS, Progress in International Reading Literacy Study, well established as the de facto worldwide standard for monitoring reading comprehension achievement at the primary school level, marked its 20th year. PEARLS 2021 provides data on trends in comparative reading achievement across countries over two decades. PEARLS 2021 offers the PEARLS assessment of literary and informational reading in a digital format, presenting reading passages and items as an engaging and visually attractive experience that motivates students and increases operational efficiency. With PEARLS all electronic format, countries can administer the full PEARLS reading assessment, PEARLS literary and informational, as well as the ePEARLS online informational as one seamless, digitally based endeavor. The Empty Pot Passage is an example of a literary text of medium difficulty. The literary texts were complete short stories or episodes accompanied by supportive illustrations. The texts include contemporary and traditional stories with one or two main characters, a plot with one or two central events, and an overall theme or message. Overall, the literary texts include a range of styles designed to encourage students to engage with the events, settings, actions, consequences, characters, atmosphere, feelings, and ideas. With the PEARLS 2021 digital interface, students can begin the empty pot passage by scrolling through its six pages before answering the questions, much as they would read through a paper passage. In the empty pot story, the Emperor of China announces a contest to decide the next heir to the throne. Because he loved plants, he decided that the child who could grow the best plant within six months would become the next emperor. Each of the many children who wanted to become emperor was given a seed. The boy, Jun, carefully carried his seed home. He was known as the best gardener in his village and did everything possible to make his seed grow. However, Jun was puzzled that other boys' seeds grew and his did not grow. As plants sprouted all over the village, a confused Jun replanted his seed even more carefully than before. Still, his seed did not grow, and the other children in the village laughed at him. Six months passed, and the children, dressed in their finest clothes, brought their strong, leafy plants to the palace. What will I do? wailed Jun to his parents. My pot is empty. His parents told him to just bring his pot to the emperor, since it was the best he could do. The emperor walked down the rows of children holding huge blossoming plants with a frown. He scowled even more when he came to Jun and said, you brought me an empty pot? Jun tried to keep from crying. I tried my best, but it just didn't grow. Jun hung his head. Then turning to everyone, the emperor thundered, nothing could grow from the seeds I gave out because they've all been boiled. And the emperor smiled at Jun. After a quick read through the story, students returned to the beginning and brought up question one. Why did the emperor hold the contest? The correct answer is to choose the next emperor, option B. Students click on the green arrows to advance through the questions. Question two asks, what did each child receive from the emperor? Students need to type in a seed. For question three, why was each seed called a precious possibility? Students may want to reread the full screen. They can click on the black tab to drop the question back down. Then they can bring the question back up to click on option A. Each seed gave a chance to win the contest. When students move to question four, they also will need to advance to the second page to locate the part of the story next to the picture of a leaf. To answer the question, what shows that Jun was the best gardener in the village? Students type in a response similar to, his neighbors loved his vegetables. Question five asks, which of these four images of flower pots looks most like Jun's flower pot when he first planted the seed? Students should drop the question so that they can read the text, bring back the question, and click on option A, because the seed is about an inch below the surface and the stones are at the bottom. In question six, students are asked what the part of the story next to the picture of a flower shows about Jun. Students should click on option C, that he planted the seed with care. Students need to advance the page to answer question seven. Why did the children build fences around their pots? They can drop the question down to read the entire page to be sure about their answer. They should click on option B to keep their plants from being knocked over. 
Question 8 asks, what was the first thing Jun did when his seed did not grow? Option D provides the correct answer. He replanted his seed in a new pot. The last question about this page asks, why did the other children laugh at Jun? Use what happened in the story to explain your answer. To receive full credit for question 9, students need to provide a reason and support it. For example, his seeds didn't grow and theirs did. Students should advance to the next page to answer question 10. Why do you think Jun's parents told him to take his empty pot to the palace? To answer the question, students need to type a response similar to, he did the best he could. To answer question 11, students need to go to the next page to find the word that best describes how Jun felt when he walked to the palace for the judging. They should click on option A, ashamed. Question 12 asks, why did the emperor scowl while looking at Jun's pot? This question is a difficult question, so the student can drop the question down and go to the next page for further information. After reading that page, the student can provide the correct answer, he was hiding what he was thinking, option C. Question 13 asks, why did Jun say, I'm sorry, to the emperor? The correct answer is option C. He thought he disappointed the emperor. To answer question 14, why did plants grow in other children's pots? Students recognized that their seeds were replaced with new ones, option D. Questions 15 through 17 required students to think about the entire story. For example, question 15 asks, what do you think the emperor valued most in a person? The students should click on option B, being an honest person. Question 16 asks, why did the emperor smile at Jun? To answer the question, students need to explain that Jun won the contest, that he was the only honest one, or that the emperor's plan worked. Question 17 is about Jun's character development through the story. To answer the question, students have to use what they have read to explain why Jun had each of three feelings during the story. Hopeful, puzzled, defeated. To answer the first part, students need to explain that Jun was hopeful because he had a chance to win and be the next emperor. To answer the second part, students need to explain that Jun was puzzled because he didn't know why the other children's plants grew, but his did not. To answer the third part, students need to explain that Jun felt defeated because his plant was the only one not to grow. <laughs>